Hello, Rochester Church of Christ. I know it's been a while since you've seen me in front of this particular backdrop. Some of you may not recognize it, and a few of you may even be wondering if we still have a church building. We do. And I was talking with the pews earlier today, and they wanted me to pass on to you that they really miss you and can't wait to see you soon. A few weeks ago, I used the analogy of a car trip. And I said it was sort of like we were saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And the answer was, no, we're not there yet. Today, I'm excited to tell you that we've reached the point in the journey where the folks in front look back and say, hey, y'all get cleaned up. Y'all get yourselves ready because we're about to be there. I have great news for you, church. Sunday, July 5th is going to be Rochester Church of Christ's Welcome Back Sunday. And I want to invite you all to be a part of it. I know that some of you are thinking Sunday, July 5th, but there are churches that are already meeting together. And I praise God for that. But as our leadership listened to your responses in the surveys, and as we watched with state regulations in mind and with CDC recommendations, we determined that the healthiest thing we could do for our body was to join with a large coalition of Churches of Christ across all of Metro Detroit who have chosen July 5th as their reopening day. And we're excited to be a part of that team. In the meantime, we're going to be making sure to take every precaution and, and do a lot of hard work to make sure that this building is clean and ready for us to be together in it and worship together. Now, because of the accommodations that are going to be made, I can tell you, our gathering will look a little different. It's going to sound a little different. It's going to feel a little different. But we want to make sure that it's an environment where as many people as possible feel safe and comfortable and welcome to come and worship God without fear. In the next couple of weeks, you're going to hear several more announcements and you're going to see several more pieces of information that will help you be aware of some of the changes that are going to be in place and some of the accommodations that we're making. It'll help you decide which of our services you're going to be attending. It'll help you know what you can do to be prepared uh, to participate in those services. And it'll also give you opportunities to volunteer to help out. For now though, we want you to go ahead and mark on your calendar Sunday, July 5th. We can't wait to see everyone. And if you're unable to join us, because maybe you're concerned that you're at risk or because you don't quite feel safe enough uh, that, that, that you can come out and worship with a large group. We understand and we want to also bless you. And so we will continue to offer our virtual services as we have and hopefully soon we'll be able to live stream so that those who are here and those who are at home will be able to worship together and be one in spirit looking at the same thing. Praise God. If you're able to make it, we are excited to welcome you in. Sunday, July 5th, we get to praise God together. You are loved and you are chosen. We're almost there.